Welcome back to our YouTube channel and thank you for joining me today. I want to talk about a bit more obscure topic under the criminal code. It's an interesting topic, more rare type charge, but it's criminal negligence causing death or bodily harm. So first of all, what is the definition of criminal negligence? It's a, it's a very high degree of moral blaming, blameworthiness to be criminally negligence. So first of all, it's, it's a person doing something or failing to do something that they have a legal duty, that is a law, a legally duty to do, showing a wanton or reckless disregard for the lives and safeties of other people resulting, of course, in a death or bodily harm. So let's break that down. Let's do it by some examples. And, and I think it'll become clear to you with examples. So let's take uh, driving, for example. You know, under driving, there's different levels of negligence. You know, careless driving under the Highway Traffic Act is sort of momentary inattention. You know, you're looking at down at your phone for a few seconds and, and hit someone. Uh, you know, that's careless driving. You're driving without doing care and attention. Dangerous driving involves, that's the next level up, a, a marked departure from what a normal person would do. So for example, uh, speeding at very high levels or weaving in and out of traffic for an extended period of time is dangerous driving. Now, n criminal negligence is a higher moral blame where this and that. This is where it's a marked and substantial departure from the norm. For example, let, let me give you an example. Let's say a person is street racing for an extended period of time. Obviously, that person is not has wanton and reckless disregard for the lives and safety of other people as a street racer. They either know about that risk or don't care about the risk, haven't even adverted to it, and they're putting the lives and safety of people obviously in danger. So let's say they, they kill or cause bodily harm to someone that's, they've met the test if it can be proven by the court beyond a reasonable doubt. So there's one example. Let me give you another example. Let's say you're a, a caregiver, a parent, and you know you have a duty to look after your child. That's a legal duty that's in different statutes and obviously at common law. And so you run very hot bat water, you hire full, full steam hot bat water, uh, water and um, you've got your two or three year old there outside the bath and you intentionally leave the bathroom and just let the water keep running. Well, you've shown that's a high moral blame whether that's under that situation. You're showing a, a wanton and reckless disregard for the life of your child who could easily scald themselves and be charged and you could be charged with criminal negligence causing bodily harm. You've adverted to the risk, you left, etc. Another example might be where you kind of in, in you know hot summer day you intentionally i'm going to go into the store i'm just leave my kid in there in the car and you stay in the store for an hour you come out the child's either dead or uh, you know serious heat exhaustion there there's another example where you could be charged with you've, you've you're showing a wanton reckless disregard let's take an example of a landlord who knows about a carbon monoxide problem that's developing in him, one of his apartment buildings and does nothing about it and people die. And, and they, he's been told that there's a problem developing, it needs to be fixed, ah, don't worry about it, it's too much money, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there's yet a, a, another example. And, and a, a very important one, which occurs I said, more often in Canada, occasionally on occasion, and unfortunately should never occur, is, you know, let's say a parent's failing to provide the necessities of life to a child. They've got a child, they're not feeding the child and that child dies. They could be charged with criminal negligence. Obviously, they show a wanton and reckless regard. They fail to do their duty uh, to, or for that particular char a child. So there, there's, there's a few examples of it. I mean, I can think of other examples, but I think this gets in your mind what it is. It's a very high level of moral blameworthiness. Now, what's the sentencing for this? So criminal negligence causing bodily harm has a maximum sentence of 10 years in jail. Criminal negligence causing death has a maximum sentence of life in prison. Uh, so it really depends on the level of bodily harm. I mean, you know, let's think about things for a second. Let's say criminal negligence, it's a minor amount of bodily harm that results in a broken leg. You've got no prior record. I mean, you might get away with uh, a few months in jail, just as an example. But, but let's take a more extreme example of a street racer who's 
uh, charged with impaired driving, for example, criminal negligence causing death, impaired driving causing death. I mean, and they, they were driving crazy through the streets and, and speeding. I mean, the sentences are increasing. They're getting much uh, higher. I mean, I think that person could face eight years, nine years in prison. That, um, maybe they should face more than that. But, you know, the sentences are, are escalating, but they're not as high as m many people think they, they should be. Um, for more serious cases of criminal negligence causing bodily harm, um, leaving a child in the car intentionally, and that child recovers, but they're brain damaged. I mean, you could face years in jail for that. So there's a few examples. Or the, 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 the landlord, that's a pretty serious example, the landlord who knew about the danger of carbon monoxide poisoning and, and didn't do anything about it, and people died, again, multi-multi uh, years in jail. Um, even though the maximum penalty is life in prison, I mean, there's never, there's never, I, I don't think there's any sentence that's over uh, 10, 12 years currently for, for that criminal age that's causing death per se in Canada that I'm aware of. So, you know, it's, it's a, it's a nebulous concept. You kind of know it when you see it, don't you? Like, you know, a street racer showing re reckless disregard. There's a lot of tests. It gets very complicated. I won't get into the test, but there's a, a modified objective standard that has to be applied in all these tests in courts. As a lawyer, you got to know this stuff. But I'm trying to distill it down to its component parts. We know it when you see it. I gave you several examples. And, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's certainly... a. a Sentences are increasing, but they're not quite as long as many people would want them to be. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.